So here we need to write three consecutive numbers with a total of 21. So first, let's make sure we understand what consecutive numbers are. Consecutive numbers are basically going up in ones. So with 2, 3, 4, we have three consecutive numbers. Or with 99, 100 and 101, we have three consecutive numbers. Or with 350, 351 and 352. So here, we need to write three consecutive numbers with a total of 21. So our numbers can't be 2, 3 and 4, because 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 9, not 21. So pause the video and see if you can find the three consecutive numbers that make 21. Well, we have 21 blocks here, and because we want to find three consecutive numbers, we can start by dividing these 21 blocks into three groups. So we have seven blocks in each group, because 21 divided by 3 is 7. So our dividend is the total, which for this question is 21, and our divisor is 3, because we want to find three numbers. But our numbers can't be 7, 7 and 7, because these aren't consecutive numbers. So what do we need to change here so that we have consecutive numbers? Well, let's move a block from this group to this group. So now we have a group of 6, a group of 7 and a group of 8. So with 6, 7 and 8 we have consecutive numbers. And because 6 plus 7 plus 8 is 21, we have our answer. So our numbers are 6, 7 and 8. So after dividing by 3, we can get our answer by taking 1 away to get the number we start with, then adding 1 to get our final consecutive number. So we can use the same method to find three consecutive numbers with any total. For this first question, we want to find three consecutive numbers with a total of 48. So we can divide 48 by 3. That gives us 16. So 16 is our middle number. Then our first number is 1 less, so 15. And our third number is one more, so 17. So 15 plus 16 plus 17 gives a total of 48. So now pause the video and see if you can use the same method to find three consecutive numbers with a total of 291. So we start by dividing 291 by 3, which gives us 97, so that's our middle number. So our three consecutive numbers must be 96, 97 and 98. And if we add these three numbers together, we'll get 291. Now this question is a little different. Rather than finding three consecutive numbers, here we need to find five consecutive numbers with a total of 25. So what do we need to do here? How can we adapt our method? Well, we have 25 blocks here, but rather than dividing them into three groups like we did last time, Let's divide them into five groups because we need to find five consecutive numbers. So we have five blocks in each group because 25 divided by 5 is 5. So our dividend is our total, which for this question is 25. And our divisor is 5 because we want to find five numbers. 
But our numbers can't be 5, 5, 5, 5 and 5 because these aren't consecutive numbers. So what do we need to change here so that we have consecutive numbers? Well, let's move a block from this group to this group. So now we have 5, 4, 5, 6, 5. So these actually are consecutive numbers because there's a difference of 1 as we go from one group to the next. But let's make it harder and find 5 different consecutive numbers. What can we do? Well, we can keep the 4, 5, 6 we have in the middle. So the group 1 before the middle is 1 less and the group after the middle is one more. But now let's move two blocks from the first group to the last group. So now we have three, four, five, six, and seven. And if we add three plus four plus five plus six plus seven, we get a total of 25. So our first number is three, so two less than our middle number. Then we have 4, so 1 less than our middle number. Then 5 is our middle number. 6 is 1 more than our middle number. And our last number is 7, which is 2 more than our middle number. So we can use the same method to find 5 consecutive numbers with any total. For this first question, we want to find 5 consecutive numbers with a total of 85. So we can divide 85 by 5. That gives us 17. So 17 is our middle number. Then if we have one less, we have 16. And if we have one more, we have 18. And now for our first number, if we have two less, we have 15. And if we have two more, we have 19. So 15 plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 plus 19 gives a total of 85. So now pause the video and see if you can use the same method to find five consecutive numbers with a total of 4950. So we start by dividing 4950 by 5, which gives us 990, so that's our middle number. So because we need consecutive numbers, the number before must be one less, the number after must be one more, then the first number must be two less, and the last number must be two more. So then, if you add up 988, 989, 990, 991, and 992, you'll get 4950. So this is a really great trick. All you need to do is ask someone to give you a multiple of 5, and you need a multiple of 5 so that you don't get a remainder, so that you have your middle number, then, as long as you remember that you need to take away 2 to get your first number, you'll always be able to find 5 consecutive numbers which give a total 